Would you read me this story? This story? You know, this is a true story by Jose Tana, the man who made Mexican folk dancing popular all over New Mexico. What are folk dances? They're dances people did more than four centuries ago when the Spanish colonized New Mexico. That's what the story's about? Yes, and it's also about dreams. For as Jose Tana teaches, if you truly believe in your dreams, they will come true. I'm Bud Russo. And I'm Cheryl Falstead. And today, instead of being your guides, we'd like to read you a story to help you understand and appreciate the culture of New Mexico. The story is called The Man Who Set the Town Dancing. It's a true story about Jose Tena, the man who made Mexican folk dances popular all over New Mexico. The Man Who Set the Town Dancing was written by Candace Stanford, a reporter, freelance writer, photographer, and journalism teacher. Ms. Stanford currently is teaching in Albuquerque, although she has taught in Seattle, Washington, as well as Korea and China. Cheryl, why don't we begin? Jose had a dream. In his dream, he saw brightly colored costumes swirling around, and he heard laughter and tapping shoes. Everyone was dancing. Every night, Jose would have the same dream. He thought about this dream over and over again. You know, Cheryl, Jose Tena began dancing when he was eight years old at Escuela Superior de Danza Folclorica in Chihuahua, Mexico. He learned the history of dance, and especially the history of Mexican folk dances, ever since he has been on a mission to preserve traditional folk dances. That's one part of Jose's life. But if we tell you all about him now, we'll spoil the story. Instead, let's read some more. More than anything Jose had ever wished for in his whole life, he wanted to make this dream come true. He wanted to teach all the people in his town to dance. Even the littlest children and all the grandmas and grandpas would learn to dance. When it was time for fiesta, everyone would be dancing. The dances Jose wanted to teach are from a long time ago. They are folk dances from when New Mexico was still a Spanish colony, way before it became a state. Jose was worried that soon everyone would completely forget about these dances. Almost no one knew how to dance them anymore. When Jose put on his dancing shoes and performed at community events, people just sat around and watched. No one joined in because no one knew the steps. This made Jose sad. And the dances were so much fun. They had brought so much joy and color to the people of colonial New Mexico and were part of their Spanish heritage. Jose had an idea of how to get the people dancing, but he had no money to get started. No one would help him with his dream. No one cared. Some people even made fun of Jose in his dream. What a silly idea they whispered to each other when Jose passed by on his way to dance school. Other people didn't even bother to whisper. They giggled and laughed out loud. They didn't care if they hurt Jose's feelings. But Jose did not give up. Those people just did not understand. They didn't know the fun they were missing. Jose had been dancing for 30 years since he was a young boy. He danced because the lively steps and rhythms were so much fun. He could not imagine a world without dance. Where would the joy be? Did you know, bud, Jose Tena came to Las Cruces in 1978, where he developed dance programs at the university, in charter schools, and his own dance troupe. Let's find out what our story tells us next. Jose had also become a ballet folklorico dance teacher and choreographer. Little by little, he started adding the traditional dances of New Mexico to what he was already teaching his classes of children and adults. He taught them La Indita, El Vaquero, El Vas de los Paños, and Las Cuadrillas. Wherever Jose went to teach dance, at the university, an elementary school, or a senior citizen center, he always added a few of the folk dances. The people were beginning to see these dances were really easy and fun. More and more people wanted to learn the dances. Jose taught the folk dances night after night, week after week. A few of his adult students became quite good at the dances, and Jose asked them if they would be willing to teach others as well. More and more people were able to learn the dances. But don't you think the illustrations in our book are colorful and lively? We just had to pause a moment to tell you about them. All the illustrations were painted by Flo Hosa Darty, a Las Cruces artist who was born in Ohio but found her way to our desert community. 
Flo has been drawing for as long as she can remember, including making marks over her brother's drawings on a blackboard when she was two. As a pre-med student, her drawings of microscopic subjects were so good, she was offered a scholarship in art. Flo never looked back. With Candace Stanford's manuscript, Flo saw the energy in the story and began sketching it in a storyboard, making sure the text overlapped the drawings to keep the reader's focus on the story. Let's continue. Now everyone is dancing. Now the same ones who used to snicker at Jose reached out to shake his hand at the post office or the dentist chair or on the bike trail, wherever they find him. Now people are saying what a smart man he is and maybe he should run for mayor. Some are even saying the town's name should be changed to Dance City. Then a very wealthy foundation gave Jose a lot of money to teach people all over the state. Now everyone can learn the dances of New Mexico. Today, Jose is still living his dream. Now when he dances at fiestas and events in the town parks, he no longer dances alone with everyone watching. Now the people of the town get up out of their seats and dance with him. The people love doing the dances and are so happy the man who set the town dancing kept going after his dream until it came true. Did you like that story? Yes, and I want to dance. Just say Cosé. Jose Tena and his ballet folklorico de la Tierra del Encanto can be seen performing in Las Cruces during Cinco de Mayo, the 16 de Septiembre, and Dia de los Muertos celebrations, as well as their annual performance at Oñate High School in June and the International Day of Dance in April. So when you visit Las Cruces, be sure to check the calendar and don't miss seeing the man who set the town dancing. You can see more of Flo Doherty's work at the Blue Gate Gallery on Main Street in downtown Las Cruces. This podcast is sponsored by the Las Cruces Convention and Visitors Bureau and produced by Explore New Mexico. Mm-hmm.